my God. <laughs> You're kidding me. This guy looks to be entering a shed cycle. Judging by the tail, I'd say it's a male. It's got like a longer, thinner tail. <laughs> this is my sixth Eastern King in about a month and a half. See, I hate going out here. Like I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes and horse flies, but I hate coming out here and walking through this jungle and all this, uh, you know, having to take all the ticks off at the end of the day. But you kind of have to go, go through some BS to get uh, your goal. If it was easy, everybody would be out here doing it. Beautiful Eastern King. He's rattling his tail a little bit at me. Sorry, buddy, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. All right, you want to go back under? Let's try this way. A snake of some kind decays. <clears throat> decays brown snake, little guy. Little cutie pie. All right, I'm put his tin back and let him go back. There we go. Mm, copperhead. <clears throat> you know, it's always cool to find these guys. I know I've featured a lot of these on my channel, but I will never be mad finding a copperhead. All right, just flipped the little eastern copperhead. It's always good to see these individuals. This one's pretty. This may be the one I found the other day that looks so uh, stunning. It's not in a shed cycle. Now there's always a bit of risk involved in going out and finding venomous snakes, but I've got my snake boots on and I always use a hook. It doesn't take all the risk out of it. You know, these guys have a hemotoxic venom. If they were to bite me, it would ruin my day, my week, probably my month. Uh, probably not likely to kill me, but could cause amputations, things like that. Just not anything I'm 
interested in uh, dealing with at this time. So I'm probably gonna move this guy because there's some more tin that I wanna flip here. So I'm gonna switch back to the GoPro. set you right there for right now buddy if you're still there I'll put you back all right nope. nothing there so if you're still there I'll try to st stay true to my word and he is he's still there I'll put him back under his piece There he goes. Got a little painted turtle on the move here. Beautiful little guy. There's a gorgeous black rat snake off the trail here. He's about 10 feet away and he's doing the thing where he stays completely still under the impression that I haven't seen him. So I'm gonna get up here and try to catch him before he slithers off. What's up big guy? Absolutely beautiful. He's musking all over himself, if you can see that. <laughs> Appears to be a male to me looking at the tail. If only you could smell through this video. Rat snake musk is horrific. But again, it's all part of the process. It's what they make soap and water for. This guy is beautiful. You can see the iridescence on his belly scales there. It's pretty cold and windy out right now. So this guy is pretty cold himself. I could feel it through my glove here. That's why he's not crazy active right now. So I'm going to put him back down and let him go on about his way. Hey buddy. Super cold. Take some cell phone photos of this guy. I'm not gonna lie, when you did that little thing, it made me jump a bit. It's a good sized snake. He's probably about four to four and a half feet, maybe a little longer. It's always kind of hard to judge that when they're coiled up a little bit. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I found five snakes total. Rat snake, king snake, copperhead, ring neck snake, and it decays brown. I also found that painted turtle. I still have about a three quarter mile walk back to the truck, so there's a possibility I'll find something else. But if not, I appreciate you watching if you got this far. I'd also like to thank everybody who's watched my videos. I'm approaching 60,000 views, which is unreal to me 
as this channel's pretty much brand new. I also want to thank all the other channels that have shown me support. It's just been amazing, and it's really awesome to be part of this community. All right. See you next time.